Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Olivia Joseph and today we're going to talk about magnesium deficiency. Why is it so common? What are symptoms and what are some natural things that you can do about it? So why is magnesium deficiency one of the most common deficiencies I see in Americans, my patients, the people that I work with? Because of stress. So when we're constantly producing fight or flight hormone cortisol, it eats up our demand for magnesium. Instead of that magnesium absorbing into muscle, bone, and nerve tissue, it's getting used up by stress. Another reason is if you have a really acidic and inflammatory diet, particularly if you're a soda drinker. So people that are soda drinkers are more likely to be magnesium deficient. So what are some signs and symptoms you have to watch out for? One, headaches, difficulty falling or staying asleep, a poor stress response, just feeling stressed all the time, like you're in that fight or flight mode and you really can't calm down, falling asleep, staying asleep, absorbing water, PMS, period cramps, muscle cramps, just to name a few. So those symptoms are across so many different systems of the body. So understand, muscles need magnesium. When you have enough magnesium, the muscles can relax. Your heart is probably the most important muscle in your body, and it relies on magnesium for proper relaxation. A muscle cramp in the heart is also known as a heart attack. So magnesium is very important for the cardiovascular system. It helps not just promote calmness, but helps you absorb water. In some cases, can help keep blood pressure a little bit more stable. So it's very important for that system. It's important for your bone or musculoskeletal system because magnesium helps you absorb calcium into the bone. So just taking calcium doesn't work. We have 40, almost 50 years of research showing calcium supplementation by itself does not improve bone density. So it relies on other minerals like magnesium and also healthy vitamin D levels helps you deal with stress. So when you are magnesium deficient, you are going to be more agitated, more angry, more irritable. So magnesium actually helps activate a part of our nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is supposed to shut down at night so we can fall asleep, stay asleep, and get restful sleep. If you're constantly stuck in that fight or flight mode, you're overproducing cortisol, and you're gonna have a harder time falling asleep and staying asleep. And you're also just gonna feel burnt out. So these are some really important reasons why we need magnesium. So how can you get magnesium? There are some dietary sources. They're not easy to cut. Mag magnesium is not easy to come by in your diet, but eating pumpkin seeds, raw pumpkin seeds is an option. Also raw cocoa powder, which you could throw in a shake. You could use to make some hot cocoa at night. So that's another option. Cocoa powder, raw cocoa powder really is pretty rich in magnesium. You can actually absorb magnesium through your skin. So taking Epsom salt baths with like a cup of Epsom salt is a great idea for muscle cramps, headaches, PMS, period cramps, also for sleep. So that's something that works. You can even get magnesium spray that you can spray on your skin. It does burn a little bit, but it works if you're having muscle cramps or muscle soreness. Nothing's gonna be as effective as ingesting it in a supplement form in the right source. So my favorite source of magnesium supplementation, not even my favorite brand, my favorite source is magnesium glycinate because it is the most highly absorbable form of magnesium that exists. So if you're taking magnesium citrate as a laxative, if you're taking it because you need it to go to the bathroom, you're not absorbing it. It's going right through you because magnesium is not highly absorbable. So magnesium glycinate is very highly absorbable, does not require chelation. So you can take it without any loose stools or diarrhea. So magnesium glycinate is very beneficial for muscle, bone, nerve, and nervous system health. I've had so many people report that it's improved their headaches, their sleep quality. And for me, when I am missing my magnesium, if I miss it especially a few nights in a row, here's the pattern that I see. I am not sleeping as well, therefore I don't feel as rested or as energetic the next day, and then that tends to make me a little bit more short and irritable. It can even cause cravings. So magnesium deficiency can even cause 
chocolate cravings. Why? Because chocolate is rich in magnesium. So if you constantly have chocolate cravings, it might be worth a try. So these are some of my tips on magnesium. I have so many videos on this topic. I've literally been preaching on the importance of magnesium for my entire 17 years in practice. When everybody was talking about calcium, when everybody was talking about other nutrients out there that become popular and then fade away, I was talking about magnesium is really a foundational nutrient. Some other nutrients, this is a little bonus information, not about magnesium, some other nutrients I feel are really key nutrients are vitamin D, good quality multivitamins, probiotics, and definitely fish oil. Essential fatty acids, magnesium, a good healthy anti-inflammatory diet, keeping your blood sugar stable, drinking enough water, literally improves our body's cellular function, our mood, our bone, our nerve, our brain health, and in influences so many systems across the board that are good for you. So take good care of yourself. So for more tips like this, make sure you go to DrOliviaNaturals.com and sign up on our email list. I send tips out like this every week on a variety of natural health related topics. So thank you for letting me share my passion about magnesium with you today.